Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another interesting video. In this video, we will understand the behavior of uh, voltage and current in case of a circuit wherein we have connected a resistance and also a capacitor in series, right? We will be talking about how is the power situation and everything. I have given the timestamp of uh, all the content. If you want to skip to a particular timestamp, you can just check the description of this video. Now, before starting with this uh, RC circuit, it, I am assuming that you have a clear understanding of how AC behaves when there is only resistance in the circuit, pure resistance. How AC behaves when there is a pure capacitance in the circuit and also how AC behaves when there is a R and L in the circuit right i have videos on all these three topics i'll give link for that complete playlist down in the description you can go and check it out it is really important that you understand all these three phenomena right so definitely go and check that out also what you can do is you can join the free course on ac circuits on my website for additional content on the ac circuit great so with this understanding with this assumption let us proceed with the ac through rc circuit so here focus on the circuit shown we have here a voltage source which is giving us a 10 volt rms value so that is rms value 10 volt now if you are interested what is rms value again i have a video on that link is in the description i is what i is again the total circuit current total current that is flowing in the circuit now when the circuit uh, so when the current is flowing through the circuit there will be voltage drop across resistance happening right and that we are labeling as vr and it is given by current times the resistance similarly there will be voltage drop ha happening across the capacitance and that we are representing by vc and it is given by current times the inductive react uh, sorry capacitive reactance and it is denoted by xc we have also discussed this what is in inductive capacitive reactance and inductive reactance the video is already there in the playlist now how we can identify the capacitive reactance well it is simple xc is equals to 1 divided by 2 pi fc f is what f is the frequency c is the capacitance which is given and that is 100 microfarad so if you put the values in this equation and calculate the xc that will give us xc is equals to 31.83 ohms just like resistor resistance we denote uh, the or we measure the xc in ohms right so this is the basic circuit we have here now from this circuit let us uh, see the phasor diagram of rc circuit now it is very easy to draw you just have to focus on what i am going to explain about the phasor diagram so to draw the phasor diagram first we need to consider some base and for that we will be considering current as our base so let me draw a current phasor here so this is the current phasor represented by i now we have already understood and it is pretty much clear that in a resistive circuit voltage and current are perfectly in phase with each other and as a result the voltage drop that is happening in the uh, resistive uh, resistor will also be in phase with current and hence we are representing it exactly in phase with the current so that is about resistor now coming to the capacitor capacitor we have also seen that in case of capacitive capacitive circuit the voltage lags behind the current by 90 degree and as a result the voltage drop vc will also lag behind the current by 90 degree and we represent it as a negative why negative because the voltage is lagging the current by 90 degree that's why it is negative now in case of inductive circuit it was leading and hence we represented that by a positive value but for capacitive always remember we represent it using the negative value so hence negative vc and it lags by 90 degree with the current now v is what v is nothing but the summation of these two we are and vc if you sum then you will get the total v the total voltage of the circuit clear 
so that is how you can draw the phasor diagram it is really really easy only thing is you need to understand which phasor is drawn when and what is the significance of that clear good now looking at the triangle or the phasor diagram that we have here we can apply a pythagoras theorem here and we get v is equals to square root of v r square plus uh, the negative v c square right now we already have the values of v r and v c let us put that in this equation and that is i r square plus negative i into x c square now if you solve this equation further you get v is equals to i square root of r square plus x c square and this is a really important equation here and this is nothing but if you observe carefully this is nothing but the ohms law of ac circuit v is what v is the total circuit voltage i is the total circuit current and this term here represents the total opposition this circuit is offering to the current now if you see the circuit again we all have a resistance we have a capacitance so there are two types of opposition the circuit is offering to the current and hence we need a more comprehensive term uh, to denote the opposition than just the resistance and just the reactance and that comprehensive term is nothing but the impedance so impedance it is denoted by letter z and it is given by square root of r square plus xc square now this term impedance combines both the opposition the circuit is offering to the current and hence it is much more comprehensive than the any other term uh, that, that we use to represent the opposition so now let us calculate the impedance so z is equals to square root of 5 square that is resistance and the inductive capacitive reactance we have is 31.83 square and if we solve this then we get impedance as 32.22 ohms again the impedance is also measured in ohms so we can modify our previous uh, equation and we can write v is equals to i times the z and this becomes the ohms law for ac circuit so with this ohms law for ac circuit we can identify the total opposition we can identify the voltage we can also identify the current so let us find out the current for this circuit so i is equals to voltage divided by the impedance let us put the values so voltage is 10 volt impedance is 32.22 ohms and the current that we will get is 0 0.31 ampere so that is the total circuit current that is flowing through the circuit the only thing you have to remember is that the value of resistance do not depend upon the frequency but the value of xc here depends upon the frequency and it is inversely proportional meaning if your frequency increases the value of xc will decrease and if your frequency uh, decreases the value of xc will increase it is inversely proportional so the in the capacitive reactance that we are finding out for 50 hertz frequency will be different for 60 hertz frequency just take a note of that and now what we have to do is we have to identify the phase angle between the total voltage and the total circuit current that is flowing in the circuit and that will give us the dif difference bit phase difference between voltage and current uh, of this circuit so let us do that again we'll use the same phasor diagram to identify the phi so we have it as tan phi is equals to negative vc divided by the vr so we already have the values for this so negative i into xc divided by i into r so the current current will cancel out each other and what will remains with is negative xc divided by r and we have to identify the phase angle phi so we will take the tan to the right hand side which will make it tan inverse negative xc divided by r and if you put values and solve this equation then we get phi as let me write it down here phi is equals to 
नेगेटिव एट्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो एट सिक्स डिग्रीज एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट दी फेज एंगल डिफरेंस बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट एंड इफ यू ड्रॉ दी वेव फॉर्म फॉर वोल्टेज एंड करंट इट वुड लुक लाइक दिस सो यू सी द वोल्टेज इज रीचिंग इज जीरो वैल्यू आफ्टर एट्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो एट डिग्रीज दैन दी करंट सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर सेंग दैट वोल्टेज इज लैगिंग करंट बाय एट्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो एट डिग्रीज नाउ विद दिस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज दैट इन ए आर सी सर्किट द फेज एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट विल ऑलवेज बी बिटवीन जीरो डिग्रीज टू नेगेटिव नाइंटी डिग्रीज now that phase angle number will vary based on the values of capacitance and reactor uh, resistance but it will always be remain between 0 to negative 90 degree again i am telling this one more time why negative because the voltage is lagging the current that's why it is negative in case of inductive circuit the voltage was leading the current and hence it was positive number clear so just remember that and if you if you just remove the uh, resistance from the circuit then the waveform will look like this so on the right hand side you can see a purely capacitive circuit waveform and on the left hand side you can see a rc circuit so when we remove the capacitor the phase angle between voltage and current will become exactly 90 degree meaning that the voltage will reach its zero value after 90 degree of the current clear understood good now let us talk about the power in case of rc circuit but before that uh, one important thing that you need to understand here that even though we discussed that the phase angle between voltage and current is somewhere around 81 degrees in rc circuit in this particular rc circuit but if you look at the stand alone resistance and stand alone capacitor this situation is not true still in across the voltage the phase angle between voltage and current would be zero would be zero similarly the phase angle between voltage and current across the capacitor would be 90 degree perfectly 90 degree and how is the, this possible we also did a mathematical equation to prove this in the previous video wherein i explained you about the rl circuit you can go and check that out the link for that free course is down in the description you can watch that video for better understanding now let us talk about the power in this circuit so if you if you focus on the first portion of the waveform you will see that both voltage and current are on the positive side so the resultant power would also be a positive power clear but in the second portion you will see the current has gone negative but some portion of voltage is still positive and hence the resultant power will be a negative power again into the next phase both voltage and current are negative so negative multiplied by negative will give us a positive output and hence the resultant power will also be a positive power again if you notice the waveform the positive peaks or the magnitude of positive power is more compared to the negative power and hence the resultant power would be a positive power net power is a positive power in case of rc circuit same is the situation of rl circuit that we discussed in the previous video clear understood it is really important to understand this concepts because when you progress your study in electrical engineering you will be dis, uh, you know studying about power system and in that case the behavior of ac sir ac in r l and c or the combination of this components very much matters well in the next video we will be understanding about alternating current in a circuit where there is resistance capacitance and also inductor that is r l and c circuit and for that make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the update and if this video helped you then do like the video that shows the support for the channel and i really appreciate that so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning